This is uh, a news which came out uh, yesterday or the day before. Uh, it says uh, that we have another dramatic change what the Amazon rainforest concerns because it is now em emitting more CO2 than it absorbs. And if you look at the, uh, at the report, it says the Amazon rainforest is now emitting more carbon dioxide than it is able to absorb. Scientists have confirmed for the first time. The emissions amount to a billion tons of carbon dioxide a year, according to a study. The giant forest had previously been a carbon sink, absorbing the emissions driving the climate crisis, but is now causing its acceleration, researchers said. Most of the emissions are caused by fires, many deliberately set to clear land for beef and soy production. But even without fires, hotter temperatures and droughts uh, mean the southeastern Amazon has become a source of CO2 rather than a thing. And uh, yeah, it's it, another part, you know, which we, uh, for, for how long do we know now how important uh, the Amazon for rainforest for us globally is, you know? It was referred to, I don't know, for, uh, for, how, for how many years, at least uh, as long as I can think, it was, re it was referred to the green lungs of the planet, you know? And we are, uh, and we, and we are letting them do this, talking of interventions, you know, and, and putting bullshit wars, you know, to countries, you know, because of fucking oil or what they got in their grounds. Honestly, you know, they should declare war to Bolsonaro and all those motherfuckers and, and, and save the rainforest, you know. I think at this point it might be already too late. Because you cannot, you cannot regrow those, uh, those trees uh, within, within 10, 20 years. Now the tipping exists. point may be reached. You know, we don't know where it is exactly, but you reach the point where it, the rain stop and, you know, having it turn into a carbon source instead of a sink kind of indicates that uh, that that's failing. That yeah. Yeah, we've talked about, we've talked in, in last week's segment, we talked about uh, the tipping point and how there is loop, feedback loops, positive feedback loops that uh, start taking a, a life of their own. And the same thing is true of the uh, Amazon forest. At some point, when you lose a certain amount of uh, forest, it, it spirals into feeding on itself and uh, there's no way of turning it back. Yeah. And without the Amazon forest, the world is, is, is screwed. There's no question about it. Yeah. Yeah. There's one clarification I'd like to make about the whole thing. And, and that is, in general, a for, forest is carbon neutral because the, the plants, the tree, trees growing, take in the carbon. You know, that, that, that sequesters a huge amount of carbon. But the trees die, then they rot away, and then they release the carbon. So... That's what's going on when, when we say that the Amazon is becoming a, a source instead of a sink. And the important thing to, to understand about that is just the simple fact of cutting the forest down. That's where the carbon was sequestered. You cut all those trees, those trees were sequestering carbon, you know, yeah. and so, some people uh, have done some things in looking at, at um, biochar where you actually grow, you know, say trees on purpose, then you harvest them and you, you, you burn them, releasing carbon again, but not all of it. And, and you, you wind up with this pure carbon product that you can bury and it, it'll like, it stays in the ground for like 2000 years before it oxidizes. So it's a way of, of um, you know, getting carbon out of the atmosphere. But in general, you know, uh, it's a misnomer to think that in, any, particular biosphere is actually extracting carbon and unless it's you've torn it down it's a rebuilding itself of course you know if we st suddenly got concerned and started rebuilding the amazon forest all it would be a huge carbon sink again but yes. you know i just want to make that that clarification because people get confused about wh what exactly is a source and sink and what does it mean and 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 not, not to mention when you cut down all this vegetation and it rots, it's, it creates large amounts of methane, which we already uh, said is, is right, multiple times worse. worse. 
than carbon yeah. uh, in the atmosphere for a limited time. Yes. Yes. Uh, and, Let and, me read. And, yeah. Let me read out the last uh, the last paragraph. Well, there it, it, it says what, what Keith just said. Uh, the satellite study published in April found that Brazilian Amazon released nearly 20% more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere over the past decade than it absorbed. Research that tracked 300,000 trees over 30 years published in 2020 showed tropical forests were taking up less CO2 than before. Denning said there are complementary studies with radically different methods that come to very similar conclusions. Imagine if we could prohibit fires in Amazon. It could be a carbon sink, but we are doing the opposite. We are accelerating climate change. Yeah. Yeah. That's and what one, we're doing. One more, one more thing to say about that is it's an interesting parallel of what's going on there because the indigenous population is at the receiving end there as well. And they've, they've been uh, protesting and acti active. There were activists that were uh, trying to slow and stop this this uh, idea of uh, burning every slash and burn, uh, and and they've been uh, killed and, and execu execution style killed uh, by by uh, powerful people. One of them was recently it made the news because he was recently found guilty. A powerful uh, uh, person in, in Brazil found guilty of being uh, directly involved in the uh, killing of uh, activists there but uh, this is this is uh, strange how it's like uh, mirrored in 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 various uh, we, we, we for, for Brazil and for all of us, we only can hope that Bolsonaro is uh, is leaving office soon. Uh, he's currently under under hard pressure, uh, also by uh, the, the former president Lula, and who uh, uh, I think he already uh, uh, declared that he would run again. Right? Uh, um, I hope that uh, this figure uh, Bolsonaro uh, disappears as fast as possible. You know, he's a he's he's a he's a a greedy right wing, a greedy right winger, you know, and he's 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 a figure from the past, from the from the very very past, you know, and, and it is horrible to see that those figures, just like uh, Trump, uh, could emerge in, in in these days. Anyway, and Mark Burns, I'm, I promise you, will look into the sea algae farming. Uh, that sounds interesting. I I don't know if that's like a gr great. Uh, big solution for the problem but it's definitely something we should uh, take a look at